I am a loser. I'm 17 and I've never been to any type of high school party. A few months ago, a guy I know reached out to me and told me that there was gonna be this insane Halloween party. He was like, hundreds of people are gonna be there. They're all gonna be in costume. It's gonna be sick. I got so excited. Over the course of those two months, I got as shredded as possible. I bought a Spider-Man suit off Amazon and I immediately started to plan a vlog. I was thinking, oh man, this is gonna be so cool. I'm gonna be so sick and shredded. I'm gonna make a montage of the party. I'm gonna have my arms around girls. I'm gonna be taking the coolest pictures of my life. Oh my God. I have never been more wrong in my life. The video started off great. My boy Alex came over to film. We recorded the intro, got some funny bits. And we headed off to the gym because the original intent of this video was to be a vlog. So like, you guys are not allowed to fucking look at my ass. Look at this image on screen right now. Tell me that your dick isn't tingling just a little bit, all right? Tell me you didn't just get like a quarter chub. I don't know why, but I got like the Latina hip jeans from my mom, okay? And I got like the most insane hip dips and hourglass figure. At the gym, I ended up meeting up with some bros. I trained hard, got a sick pump, and I worked up an appetite. Oh. 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 I don't know about you, but I'm starving, let's go eat. Hi, how are you? Hi, good and you? I was wondering if any of your tacos are halal. I'm sorry? Uh, I was wondering if any of your tacos are halal. We ended up grabbing Chipotle and I was super happy because the video was coming out great. And then tragedy struck. This was the first major problem that occurred. I double checked the Halloween invitation to make sure everything was all right, and it wasn't. As I was rereading it, I realized at the bottom it said, don't pull up empty handed. Now this is a real problem. I wouldn't be able to get in without any beer and I can't obtain any. At first I thought this was the end of our journey, but I came up with a plan. I called someone I knew who could get me beer. Hey mom. Can you help me with something please? While they were buying me the beer, I took a trip down to my local grocery store and did the same. I found and bought the exact same drink, but with 0% alcohol. I also found this bottle sealer you use to make your own home brewed beer, and I now had everything I needed to pull off my master plan. I poured out all the Budweiser and replaced them with the non-alcoholic version. From there, I gave them each a squirt of hand sanitizer for that authentic beer taste. All I had to do was reseal them, and they looked just like the real thing. Now, I can walk into the party, no questions asked. Just in case that wasn't enough, I also bought eight extra large Joe's pizzas, and I was gonna carry them with bungee cords, just like the real Spider-Man. He stole that guy's pizza. This ended up being a terrible idea because I underestimated the weight of eight extra large pizzas. I do this last year. Oh, I have no fucking clue. Here, can you set the camera down on the corner? Right? Yeah, sure. You got the first one. Got any more cables? Yeah, let me see if I have any more cables, but holy shit, that's heavy, bro. Yeah, oh, it's my. eight pizzas. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, you put the... <laughs> <laughs> now, this was the moment of truth. This is where it all paid off. My boy Aaron showed up because we are riding together to the party, and the cops busted it before we even got there. We quickly tried to salvage the night. We called everyone in our contacts. Honestly, there's one other one. There is, um, here, I'll send you the address right now. Gianna sent it to me. Who is this, please? Nah, bro, bro, we haven't even left yet. Yo, Isaiah. Hey, man, uh, it already got shut down? Damn, well, I already have another address I can send you to. Uh, I, I guess we'll just go to the next. Uh, no, not the Canada one, fuck that one. No, dude, I haven't even left yet. I mean, we're at his crib, he was doing like this YouTube thing, he needed to uh, do it, and uh, uh, if I can get word on Dylan's, bro, y'all will be, be the first to know, but uh, everyone has been super stingy about it. They all, they're all shut down, bro. That's crazy. Yo, Isaiah. I bought 80 okay. pizzas. I just realized, bro. It sounds scripted. <laughs> yes, this sounds very scripted. This is not, I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. I genuinely mm -hmm. don't know what's gonna happen. But I'm home alone all weekend. Worst case, I fucking throw a party here with my shitty little six pack of fake alcohol. Okay, so what's happening? 
We're discussing a new plan. Okay, but fuck. Every but, but, but we're not going to a, yeah, yeah, we're not going to a party, though, I'm going to tell you that much. Because, dude, the thing is that the only other one I know of is a closed invite party, but I can tell you with how deep we're going to be, bro, we're not getting in that. Like, not all, like, and dude, I mean, I'm sorry. But After 40 minutes of phone calls, we thought all hope was lost. But alas, we saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, man, Ruben was really looking forward to this, man. So yeah, if you can, make, if you can pull some out your ass right now, Tell him that I have eight pizzas. Eight extra large pizzas. He's about to send me the address for another party. Let's fucking go! We have come a long way since the beginning of this video. We found the true meaning of friendship, we all got a little closer, and we realized the party was within ourselves the entire time. We drove to the party location, parked five minutes away. Fuck it! Okay. Aaron, fuck it. Oh, fuck it. And I finally experienced my first Party. Sweet, sweet, sweet victory, yeah. And it's ours for the taking. It's ours for the fight. In the sweet, sweet, sweet victory. That was not worth it. That was so not worth it, dude. I feel like shit. I don't understand how people like parties like that, man. It, it wasn't even fun. Like, it didn't even look fun, man. Like, this, I mean, this, is not, this is not like a bit. Like, I genuinely just woke up. Like, the first thing I did was grab my camera and, like, thought, so let's go. Uh, one. No one even looked like they were having fun. Everyone looked fucking miserable. I was pressed against people's bodies, front, back, left, and right. No one, everyone looked so miserable. It was so hot that like as soon as you'd walk into like the, 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 the room, there was like a wave of heat that would hit you. That wasn't fun. Weirdo freak. You gotta film this for legal reasons. Legally, I am throwing this out. I didn't actually do that. I'm not gonna fucking throw it. That, that, that don't I didn't actually fucking do this. Uh -huh. That was a meme. I'm like, oh well. Yeah, I guess I should have fun, you know, and 